Hello everyone and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be going over how to create a smooth slow motion clip using the pixel motion in After Effects. This tutorial is going to assume that you know nothing about After Effects. Maybe you have a Creative Cloud subscription and you use Premiere a lot, but you find that the results using frame blending when you change the speed of a clip just isn't cutting it. So you've decided to look at After Effects and see if that can help you out at all and that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, for a sample clip, uh, I've just got a bit here from... Oh, it's not showing up. That's great. Boop, boop. Well, I'll bring it up on screen anyway. Breakfast butter. <laughs> We're making pancakes. Right. We're making purple pancakes. Huh? Purple pancakes! <laughs> Just really quick, I get flipped off of the couch. This is from uh, Boater Cook Something, Season 3, Episode 6, Purple Pancakes. So uh, if you're at all interested in that, click that uh, annotation there. Otherwise, continue on. So we're going to take that, and I've decided that I want to go in and take that flip off of the couch and slow it down. So uh, here we've got After Effects open. We've done nothing in it. Uh, we've got a project window over here, composition, effect controls. They might be arranged a little differently when you first open the program, but here it is. Uh, so first we need to go to File and Import, and we're going to look for our file. Uh, let's see here. That's all about to play something. Uh, purple pancakes, and we're just going to pull right from my export for now. That's good enough. So we've got this here. Uh, we need to create a new composition. So we can go to Composition, New Composition, uh, Control N or Command N if you're on Mac, or just drag it onto the New Composition symbol right down here. This is going to look a little bit different if you're in different versions of After Effects. Right now I'm working in uh, CS3, but it works just fine all the way up through Creative Cloud. So here we are now. We've got our footage imported uh, and we want to slow this down. So we want to slow it down and just get that one part. Uh, so we're going to have to trim down our footage and to get our composition smaller to match up. So to trim our footage, uh, you just grab these handles and bring them in. You can hold shift and it will uh, automatically snap to, I remember the word. I watched a video about things being stuck on the tip of your tongue and now, hmm. Anyway, it'll snap right to your playhead. You can also go to your playhead and on your keyboard press alt, left bracket, or right bracket. Hitting the right bracket will change the out point. Hitting the left bracket will change your in point, and we saw that changing right down here. We'll keep the out point here, the in point is more or less where we want it. So now I'm going to zoom in a bit, I'll just pull this, pull our view in right here. You can also use this down here to change that. We'll pull this in. If we want to change the length of our composition, uh, we can do that by hitting Control K, or Command K, or just right click and click Composition Settings. It's unwieldy and long right now. I'm just going to turn it to 30 seconds. It's, just, it's more than we'll need, but whatever. So we'll fine tune this. I'm going to get this trimmed down. So now uh, we need to change the speed of it. The easy way to do that is while having the layer selected, we go up to Layer, Time, and Time Stretch. Now, the opposite of what most nonlinear editors do, uh, an NLE like Premiere, will change the speed of the clip, say 50% speed, whereas After Effects wants to stretch the layer. So to do 50% speed or half speed, you need to be double the length of time. So we're going 200% for stretch factor. And now I'm going to RAM preview this. Ah, that's still coming out of my speakers. I'm just going to mute that anyway. We don't need to hear Haley's voice all slowed down. So what, what's happening here is that it's playing in real time, but it's, it's skipping frames in the middle. Uh, you can move frames by pressing page up and page down. And notice it's only going every other frame. This is what would happen if you slow down a clip without frame blending or anything like that. Um, I am going to bring in the end of our work area. Again, using shift to get it to snap there so it doesn't keep previewing off into nothingness. So right now we've got the clip and every other claim, uh, every other frame is being rendered. 
So what we want to do is turn on frame blending first for the entire composition. And we do that by hitting this right here. It's the series of film strips. Uh, you click that and it enables frame blending for all layers that have it enabled. But right now, none of our layers have frame blending enabled. That is this switch right here. Uh, there's frame blending, motion blur, 3D layer. So we want to click frame blending. And there's two different options. The first one, if you look here, well, I have it kind of, it's a little dark here, so I'll zoom in, there you go. You notice it's like this kind of stepped block thing going on. If I click it again, then it's a smoother line. So we're going to look first at the stepped block, and this gives us the kind of frame blending that you would see in a nonlinear editor, uh, where frames in between where there's data, it will just kind of blend the two frames together. This one at half opacity, this one at half opacity, and there you go, that's all it's going to do. Um, and we're RAM previewing this right now. If you want to check anything that you do, it's right click, preview, RAM preview, or just hit zero on your number pad on your keyboard. So it goes through, it creates all the frames, and you see all the ghosting happening around uh, Haley's hands. It's not an elegant solution. It's there, it's something. You notice it's still smoother than when we had nothing. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take that frame blending and we're going to move that to high quality. And now uh, that is what's called pixel motion. And again, we're going to preview this. And I'm going to fast forward because right now you see it's happening kind of slow. Just depends on how much RAM you have in your system, all your GPU and all that nice stuff. So I'm going to let this render away. But actually while it's rendering you notice that um, looking at Haley's face here, you can see that each frame is its own frame. Uh, the ones that it's making up in between, it's looking at something in this frame and something in this frame and saying in between it must be right here, and this is what it must look like. Um, and that's the advantage of pixel motion. The disadvantage is whatever the heck her left hand is doing over here, uh, when there's fine detail moving very fast, it doesn't quite know what to do. Uh, so we'll see that in real time, uh, how that looks. This kind of slow motion is better for uh, larger uh, objects without a whole lot of detail moving at a somewhat regular speed. If something's moving very fast, it's going to be hard to slow it down using pixel motion in a way that isn't confusing the hell out of the algorithm. Um, and the fine detail of our hands there. Uh, hopefully when I fall, whenever we get around to that, uh, that detail will be a little less obscured. Because right now we're looking at the edges of the blanket and they seem pretty much fine. Okay, and we are back. Now that's mostly finished rendering. Here we go. And the smooth slow motion flip. Now as it loops back, we look at, again, Haley's left hand. There's some weirdness going on. As it goes by at speed, you know, there's a bit of a flip, but you can't see a whole lot going on. Uh, if we look close, if we go frame by frame, then again, we see some weirdness with her hands. You see a little bit on the top edge of me as I go over. The short's not quite knowing what to do right there at the edge of the frame, but as it goes by, it pretty much works. Uh, this isn't perfect, but if you want to create slow motion in a pinch, it's a great way to go about it. Uh, so again, I mentioned that s sudden changes in motion, sudden motions like this, and a sudden change in the frame will do that as well. If you're trying to slow down two shots that are already stitched together, uh, that, are, that already have a cut between them, then at that cut, it'll have no idea what to do. It will try to combine the two and have more of this weirdness going on. Uh, same also goes for if a camera flash goes off that just fills up the frame, uh, that will throw it off as well. So if there's one or two frames that are very weird like that, maybe you could duplicate your layer. You get just one part of your frame. Say we have well, let's see here, we've got, well, of course, it's not staying loaded into RAM now, whereas later versions like CC will. But maybe for this here, if there was some 
really weird stuff going on with the hands or whatever here. Maybe just for a couple frames, switch that to uh, this type of frame blending. It's a, a kludge, but it would do it. So there you go. That is smooth slow motion in Adobe After Effects using pixel motion. Uh, it's built right in here. Again, the short version. Bring in your clip, turn on frame blending, turn on frame blending to high with pixel motion, and let it go do its thing. Be on the lookout for, you know, weirdness like that. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for watching. If you uh, enjoyed the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Uh, you can check out the full playlist of my tutorials, which I just got around to making, uh, down below, as well as the episode of Boater Cook Something that this came from. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter.com slash BoaterBug, and you can follow Boater Cook Something on Facebook.com slash Boater Cook Something. Support me on Patreon.com slash BoaterBug. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.